The Ash, Lutzi and Susie Snackbox. I came across all these uh, famous people that re- are related to each other that I didn't realise were. Mm. But as a footnote to that, because we're talking about the Olympics, did you see that um, Loretta Harab's daughter um, got runner-up in the Wimbledon Junior Singles over the weekend? Loretta so, Harab triathlete. Loretta Harab was a triathlete um, in my era who got yep. a silver medal at the Sydney Olympics. Indeed. And she's got two kids who are um, really good tennis players. God. Emerson Jones, the daughter, uh, got runner-up in the girls' Wimbledon tennis, the best result since a- a- Ash Barty. Wow. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Did you know about that? I no, did not but, know about that. But I saw that yeah. Liz Smiley, the tennis player, her yeah. son, Elvis. Elvis uh, Smiley? Elvis Smiley. He's just qualified for one of, one of, the, one of the majors, I'm sure, the, the British. Was it? In golf. golf. Yes, but he's a really good golfer. Oh, wow. I think that's this week. Uh, he's, a, think. he's a gun golfer, okay. that kid. Yeah. yeah, it's funny, hey? So, well, I'm going down more of a path of... Um, celebs. Celebs, because I saw yesterday that the voice of Bart Simpson, mm-hmm. um, Nancy yeah. Cartwright, it's is woman. actually... Yeah, it's a woman. Yep. Is the auntie of Sabrina Carpenter. You know that singer oh, we play oh, all the yeah. time? Have you got any of Bart? Ooh. Okay, um, we'll have a look. Sorry, I'm putting you on the spot there. <laughs> and I've right. got a, a list of them that are all related Ooh, that I never shorts. even knew that were related. I can start going through them yeah, if you want. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Um, and it's good actually having Mitch here because some of these people, I don't know who they are. So what, Julia Roberts. Why is Mitch going to help? More because they're movie stars. Julia Roberts, I've heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of Emma Roberts? Yep. Emma Roberts? Yeah. yeah. Which one's she? Oh, she's been. One oh. of the Emmas. She's, she's yeah, actress. she's she's been a lot of stuff. She's in yeah. the American Horror Story uh, a fair bit over the last yeah, couple yeah, of years. Yeah. yeah, her auntie is Julia Roberts. Mm. Did you know that? I, I didn't know that actually. Did you? Do you guys watch Emily in Paris, the TV show? No, no. It was just, no I can't tell. I use a line for that. <laughs> oh my god, it's really good. Have you, <laughs> Mitch, have you yeah, seen yeah, it? I've, I've been around when my wife watches it. Yes, it's really really yeah. good. No, Jody's lo- loves yeah. it. Yeah, just, just quickly, Emma Roberts. Yeah, are you still doing that one? Or was it like, yeah, I've gone to the next one, but that's fine. No, because yeah. Eric. Roberts, yes. the actor, is the dad. Oh, yeah. I didn't know who Eric Roberts was either. That too. No, he's not the dad. He's the, oh. oh, he's the dad, he's the dad of, of, of Emma. Emma right. Yeah, yeah. And, he's, okay. and the brother of Julia. Yeah. You know, you know if you saw him, that guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I've moved on to... Um, so Sorry. Lily Collins is the main actress in Emily in Paris. I definitely recommend it. It's a really good show. Um, her dad is Phil Collins. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is Phil still hanging in there? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Is he going all right? Yeah, Two and around, not releasing anything. But said you know. his best too. <laughs> <laughs> Still hanging in there. No, no, he, he hasn't been well. Yeah, right. I saw a picture of him up on stage, and mm. he didn't look good. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Here's a good one, and they're, they've acted together. These two, Emily Blunt, Devil Wears Prada, mm-hmm. is, and James Blunt. <laughs> no, not no. James Blunt. Is Stanley Tucci's sister-in-law? Is that how he says his name? Oh, Tucci. Yeah, Tucci. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Emily Blunt um, is Stanley Tucci's sister-in-law. I believe when. Because this is the, the trivia that I know that's useless to me. When they made Devil Wears Prada, yeah, she introduced because he started that with her, and he she yeah she introduced them, and they, they got married to oh, Emily's got sister. To, yeah, oh, that's how they got together. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys know Stanley Tucci? He's that bald guy. No, I think you, again yeah, you know, know him. You, oh, you know oh, him. Oh yeah, I don't know him. Definitely, he's like a scene yeah, stealer yeah. in everything he's been in. But yeah, mm. Devil Wears Prada, Hunger Games. Yeah, he's great. He does all this cooking stuff now. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also travel shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Stanley Tucci goes to Italy. I definitely recommend that too. Actually, and that's his. That's her dad. Brother-in-law. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, you guys know this one. Dakota Johnson is yeah, the daughter Dakota of, Johnson okay. of um, uh, Meg Mel. Fifty Shades. Dakota. Mel Griffith. Yeah. Mel, Mel Griffith. Mel Griffith. And the uh, dad is? John Johnson. John Johnson. Yeah. 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 That's a pretty good matchup. Mel- right? Melanie Griffith. Yeah. 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 Are they still together? No, she went and hooked up with. Was she mm, with Antonio yeah. Banderas for a while, yeah, and they broke was. up. They, they were they together break for up? like twenty years, but they broke up the last couple of years. Mm, I told yeah. you about the time I ran into her in like in like an airport lounge no. in New York. That sounds good. Let's Melanie Griffith. Was that just at a bar, or was it at an no, airport? Lounge it was. Like, it was at like an airport lounge, like the the equivalent of like Corners Club, Corners Club, Club type thing in New York. When we we're going to fly home, Jody's gone to the bathroom. Melanie Griffith is at the bar, and I was like, oh. I'm going up. <laughs> I'm going up. And I, really? I, yeah, and I went up, and she ordered a, 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 a the red drink, like a like bloody a mary. And I went, oh, what is that? And she goes, it's a bloody mary. And I've, I've always wondered what is in a bloody mary. She told me what was in it. She goes, oh, you're Australian. And I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said she just finished filming a film with mm. an Aussie. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Joel Edgerton. 
Oh, I thought you were going to say Russell. Yes. Um, what's his name? No, Joel, Joel Edgerton. Oh, were you, yeah, yeah. Were you also thinking at this point, geez, I hope Jodie takes a, lo- a long time yeah. there. Whatever well, she, I, ordered, whatever she's doing. I, I ordered a Bloody Mary. I said, I'm going to order one of them too. So I ordered a Bloody Mary and I was there long enough and then Jodie actually did come out and saw me chatting up with <laughs> oh, Melanie Griffith at the bar. What did Jodie do? <laughs> that reminds me. She just kind of stood there and then, then Melanie left and then we walked onto the plane and she was in business class. Mm. We had to walk past them. Very shameful. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're back here. But, um, but we had a little wave. And then she got straight into a limo when we got to LA mm. and she was gone. I was oh, like, wow, wow that's, that's interesting. That's her first class service every week. <laughs> For some reason, it just reminds me. I was watching Modern Family yesterday. Who's the dad at Phil? Yeah. That's the sort of thing he'd do, you know, that when waiting for oh, his yes. wife to return. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> anything. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie snack box. Dead bird! It's cold in here. I said there must be some content in the atmosphere. Here we go. A moment every week where producers come in and say, all this stuff that we could have been doing, could have been talking about, but haven't yet produced release you first up to uh, present your case. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, hang on. I'm not but allowed to say much, so I'm trying to avoid yeah, it. Uh, I've been in trouble before. Right. <laughs> That's, good. That's good. All right, you get five seconds. Mm-hmm. Make your pitch. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Katy Perry has defended her Woman's World music video following harsh critiques. Mm. Uh, well, that's the headline of this. This is interesting. It's risque. Hasn't that been received well? She looks great, I think. Yeah, mixed messages I've heard. Mm, mixed oh, messages. I'm interested in that, actually, because mm-hmm. I couldn't be bothered reading the story. Yeah, I've got to admit, I've, I've seen yeah. headlines and just gone, what else is there? <laughs> <laughs> Lockie, what's go- Oh, you ready? That's what you're competing against. All right, here so. we go. There's a new TV series based on one of the biggest trends of the last four years you might not know about. Uh, new TV series. Mm. Biggest trend. Well, they're both interesting. I'm, I'm going to take Lockie. I'm going to go I Alicia. feel like we can, we can probably extract the Katy Perry one more in the podcast. That's all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's probably... Oh, long. you want to go through the, the lyrics? No, yeah. just the what? It's a, it's a risque film clip. Oh. Like we can probably extrapolate more in the, in the podcast. A deep dive. A deep dive. Mm. <laughs> so I'm going to say Lockie because mm. I want to do that in the podcast. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I like that we're, yep. we're we're changing the way that it's 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 now. What do we want to hear more of in the podcast? <laughs> yes. Save <laughs> save that. The short one yeah, leaves yes. on the show. <laughs> don't let us forget. Good point. Uh, what is it? So this uh, new TV series called Smarty Pants from the people who brought uh, College Humor. It, they've rebranded to Dropout, and the whole premise is around a PowerPoint night. Now, who here knows what a PowerPoint night is? Yes. Just quick yeah. show of hands. Like no. a projector, like you go through some... Like, like a slide night? Well, that's... Yeah, slide night. Well, the slide night, I think, was kind of the old school thing where people would show photos of a, of a holiday that they've just been on. Yeah, Maybe like Suze could have a yeah. bit of a slide night. Yeah, now, so in about the 70s, Suze, that became yeah. PowerPoint <laughs> night. All right, here's me, here's me with the kids at SeaWorld. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but since COVID, people uh, during COVID obviously couldn't hang out with friends in person. So what they do is they do these PowerPoint nights where they'd essentially create a presentation on Microsoft PowerPoint yeah. and show it to their friends and, and basically present something that they're passionate about. Uh, some some friends of mine recently had a, a mum trauma dumping night where they just told one another about the different uh, issues they have with their own mums. What? Sounds yeah. wonderful. Oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, As a mum, that sure sounds Make sure you invite horrible. me next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some, some other ideas include... Uh, I'm going to go trauma dumping night with yeah. us. Lucky tonight. <laughs> some other ideas include which team... Can you team- imagine? Sorry. Reminds me of another trauma dump you did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> at, a, at a church once, which we'll talk more about later on in the yes, program. But, you know, keep, yeah. keep you dumped and everyone else got trauma. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. I, I've still got trauma. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Other, other ones include which team member, uh, you know, is which office character. So this whole the whole premise of the TV show is they they go on and they present, I guess, an idea, something they're passionate about, something they have knowledge. And it got me thinking: if we were to have a PowerPoint night on our show, what what kind of things would we be pitching? Olympics. Oh well, yeah. I think. Let's see. I'd like a producer trauma night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Ooh, you, just go, yeah. you just go through a we've, PowerPoint we've, of all your time. We've all of your primary school friends. <laughs> everyone, they've all given us this information, then we just dump it on you. Yeah. I feel like, Mitch, you could probably do like a which Star Wars character you'd like to have drive you around the streets of Brisbane. I think my top five to ten ideas would have absolutely no interest and passion. Yeah, but that's kind of that's kind of the fun of a power. Oh, right, so I've sort of dragged you in and, you know. Yeah, everyone gets, everyone gets to see something you're passionate. They're never good for anyone else. No, no, no. 
Yeah. Mine would be tonight I'm doing a project on Mitch's dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd go to that. <laughs> I, I look. I reckon I'd do like the the worst body functions to happen in a church. I think I could do a definitive ranking of that. Yes. Okay, so that, yeah, I see what you're saying. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah that's I like pretty. That. Cool. I like that idea. Yeah, I don't want to go to one, but I like the idea of it. Okay. It's a hard sell to other people. Is that, is that a good show? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. Like, yeah, sure there, there, there are a bunch the of there are a bunch of comedians. Oh, it's, a, right, so, okay. it's yeah. not in development. It's actually no. It's actually it's, it's on it's on Dropout right now, which okay. is a it's a TV series on YouTube. streaming service. On, on it's it's called Dropout. Dropout. It's called Dropout. What what is that? Sorry, is that a YouTube channel? No, it's yes, oh, speak oh, speak oh, we don't know. What channel is it on? If I had to watch it right now, what time is it on? It's a stream. Streaming service, College Humor, were a massive a bunch of YouTubers. They created a, a streaming service called Dropout because mm. I guess the idea is that they were in oh, college. Oh, the streaming service like is Netflix. called Dropout. Yeah, yeah it's oh, like Netflix. Yeah. They were in college and now oh. they've dropped out. And it's they've, they've got a bunch of shows on there. Sounds good. So you can watch it. Is it free? Uh, probably not. I'm not kidding. You, would you actually? Is it an? I don't know how you watch it. You it, literally you, streaming is it, is it, service. You have a, you have a yeah, okay, that's, yeah. that's a sentence. You've got how a laptop. You you've got a laptop in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I got a laptop. How do I know more than Google that? Dropout? And okay. it is a streaming service. Like and you can watch Ash it, gets it. Watch yes. it on your laptop. It's like an app, and you yeah. you subscribe okay. to that. I think I need to do a PowerPoint night on different streaming services <laughs> and how to access them. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie Snackbox. Last week uh, we told you about. Teddy swims when he dragged the busker up at the Queen Street. Oh. No, no. Well, she dragged him up. She dragged him Anoxia? up. She asked him up. Anoxia. Yeah, I saw that on socials. We spoke to Anoxia the next day. Oh, and that yeah, was she a, was great. That was an interesting chat actually, because it wasn't as coincidental as what I first thought it was. She mm. pre pre planned it. Okay. Thought. Well, he's got a history of doing this, so I'm going to mm. set it up in the Queen Street Mall, and she just played Teddy Swim songs over and over. Oh, okay. And then he eventually turned up, like <laughs> Pied Piper. Hey, good publicity for both of them, hey? Like, I yep. didn't even know what Teddy Swims looked like. Yeah, really? I yep. say yep. I didn't know. He looked like that. Yeah, that's what he looks like. And then I just, uh, what happened with me, just quickly, as I, I went, um, I went, uh, hey, mate, you know, awesome work. We're, we're talking to Anoxia next on our on ra- Instagram. radio show. You know, good work for Brisbane artists. And he wrote back, yes, with four S's, and then followed me. Oh, that's impressive. Mm. Anyway, just want to throw him again. Okay. Well, like he, he's continued the uh, the partnership with Anoxia because he performed last night in Melbourne. Mm. Yeah. And he brought Anoxia down to Melbourne what? and she got up what? on stage and sung with him. That's pretty good. At, at his concert. How much fun See, is that? That's awesome. I guess so. Because I was thinking, wonder why I didn't do that in Brisbane. But I guess it, it was the turnaround was too quick to organise it, and you know, like it's. Yeah, I guess a, it was that day. Maybe you wanted to check what her voice. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. It was that night, wasn't it? Already, already performed when he did the. No, oh, that's it was amazing. the morning. I think it was the Tuesday morning ahead of his Tuesday night oh, show. Oh yeah, because yeah. like, she went to the show. Mm. Oh right, okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, did so he give her tickets? Yes. Yeah. He, he gave her tickets. Oh, okay. She went. She ended up going to the show that night, and obviously they hit it off. Mm. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. What song do they sing? Do you know? Mm. Uh, anyway. Uh, question at short notice. <laughs> Presuming there's no audio. Yeah. No. Oh, they sang. They sang Sh- Shania Twain. Shania Twain. Feel like, like a if, woman. If no. For love, get out of here. <laughs> no. The 1997 hit. Still the one. Yeah, that's it. Oh. You're what, still the, the, the one. Do, do, do. Well, it was an ad after Shania sang it. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Channel Nine ad. Yeah. Still the, the one. That's right. Still yeah. the one. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Do the one 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 no, the Channel Nine one's different. One That's still the one I did. did, did, did. I had a couple. Well, if we're going to finish with this, I think I've got some audio of this one too. Elfie, did you hear Elfie at the musical? Yes, I saw the photo of him at the Tina musical. <laughs> El- what? Elfie yes. went to the Tina Turner musical, and he got up on stage, and she he? dragged him well, up she on dragged stage. Him up. Yes, T- to sing the Tina Turner impersonator. Um, yes. to sing the rugby league song. Yeah. Oh, that's what? Yeah. And it, El- when? <laughs> Just last week. I saw weekend. that as well. Is he an origin kid? Let's bring out NRL legend Alfie
that, didn't he do that for? Has he ever done that for us, Elfie? Simply the best. That song, no, but it sounds that that's the best he's ever sounded. God, we should, should just got to do a record, Elfie. Yeah. On that, if we ever do that again, <laughs> I thought he did one for us once. I've got memories of him singing "Simply the Best" to us. No, don't know. Maybe we've just heard it out at bring him in the Caston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Might have heard it live once. Yeah, bring him in Thursday morning. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie snack box. Franklin's anniversary sale has kicked off with 33% off indoor and outdoor blinds, shutters, curtains and security screens. T's and C's apply. See franklin.net.au He's got flowing long hair So hot it isn't fair Carry on Carrigan, Carrigan Hello mate, Paddy Carrigan from Hello, Inside Paddy. the Maroons Camp. Hey mate, are you guys still at Sanctuary Cove? Yeah, uh, we're no, we're at a oh, secret location. Secret location, they mate. Tell us. Oh. Did he drop out then? It's K five. You there, Paddy? <laughs> no. Nah. Where said, are they? He said yeah, and then he went nah. <laughs> Maybe the media manager took him out. Like when he said he was just da- about to tell us exactly Dale where it was. There we go. Hey. Dale Hall yeah, just hey. crashed. Hey. Hey. <laughs> where are you? We didn't hear the, the venue. Dale Hall. Yeah, I'm actually, you know, we're actually in Brisbane in the W. I think they might have got word I was talking to you and just cut everything. But oh, right. <laughs> nah. oh, the W. Which one's that? Is that oh, it's a really nice one on the river? Yeah, that's the one. So we came up from Sanctuary Cove yesterday. So it's, um, yeah, it's nice. It's pretty it's nice, nice view of uh, Grizzly and nice, Suncorp as well. So. Nice spa yeah. baths. There's a steam rooms or saunas as well. If I'm here for work, Lutzi. So <laughs> <next door, mate. laughs> who, who are you rooming with? Do you get a room to yourself? <laughs> yeah, we do. So I get a room to myself now, thankfully. Oh, about but, to. Uh, is that is that the same for room? everyone? Does everyone get the yeah, room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now and, and the skipper gets a uh, a big uh, luxurious suite. Does he? Oh, well yeah. accommodated. Is that DCE? Yeah. He deserves it. I've he been does. I've, yeah. I've been to a party in one of those suites at the W. It's really nice. It's, is it, has he got like a dining room table in his room? Yeah, like a uh, a dining room table and like a little, it's like a four seater yeah. raised bar. There's a bar, bit. right? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. I reckon I've been <laughs> in that exact room. And then, oh, and then you walk from there. There's the lounge room. Then you go through like a little archway yeah. to the to the bedroom. Then it's massive ensuite. Yeah, I tell kids to move rooms, mate. Yeah, and when, what's he going to do? You know, you're going to you'll, you'll be able to enjoy that more. You're you're taller than him. You Take need the after room. party there. Mm, Once yeah, we're celebrating that. tomorrow night, you can finish up there. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, there's plenty of space there. So, hey, there's so many uh, interesting talking points about about this match tomorrow. But one of the ones that I can't wait to see how it all unfolds is how Billy is going to use Reese Walsh and Kalen Ponga. Whether they'll be on the field at the same time or... Are they the same position usually? Well, Kalen's coming off the bench. Okay. Kalen's in the team, but, I mean, they're both such dynamic weapons. Like, they're they're magic, both of them. I mean, I don't expect you to tell us what's going to happen, but have have they been working on it this week? Is there a clear clear plan of attack as far as that is? Could we be excited? Yeah, we should be excited, mate. I think, um, yeah, any time... Especially as a bigger boy, anytime you see guys like that on the field at the same time, it's pretty scary. So, um, yeah, Bill's got some things up his sleeve, um, and if we get them on the field at the same time, then it's going to be um, good for us anyway. So, thankfully, I get to play with them. By the way, do you know any of the Winham boys? Because I heard that I heard that Winham. Did you do an opposed session with them earlier in the earlier in the week? We did. Like you. I heard that New South Wales did an opposed session with them as well, though. Did you hear that? True. So, if you got, if you got if you need any intel, talk to the Winham boys. Because I won't be giving away any of our secrets. <laughs> Isn't that weird? They, um, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. They got Toby Hedrington's brother plays for our Wynnum. Yeah. And he's a he's a dead lookalike too. So a lot of the boys are freaking out. Going, Why is Toby Hedrington <laughs> running around out there? <laughs> so stay clear of him because he'll cut him in half. But that was his, his, his younger brother. Really? <laughs> He'd probably still cut yeah. you in half. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it runs in the blood, mate. <laughs> yeah. What's the plan for today, Paddy? The day before? What, yeah. Are you training at all or just resting up? Cruzy. Yeah, we um, we train uh, in the afternoon. So Bill always does. We always do captains run about like 4.35. Oh, Have to check. But yeah, then we're recovery today. So up in the function well, see Mucky for a little bit. And then, oh, nice. um, yeah, cruise all oh, What day. time are you going there? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Susan, no Susan comment. will make an appearance for sure. I'm probably going to go steam room at function well. <laughs> into the fog's lunch. Into the fog's lunch. Then I might just try and watch a little bit of you. Are you, tra- are you training at Suncorp 
is the captain's yeah, right? Yeah, right. Court, mate, so hope to see you guys there. Okay. Oh, that's Let's fun. I'd like to go luck, to that mate. again. Have you got fresh boots? I do, yeah. Have the fresh boots. I always get fresh boots for a big game, so ready to roll with the I new boots. I can't believe you do that. Like, shouldn't you wear them in? What? I, I don't understand. Wouldn't uh, you get blisters? No, nah, it's pretty good. I, I, yeah, I just like the feel of them. They're like, they're that good these days. But the way the boots, like, they feel tighter. I don't know, when you wear them in, they get a bit loose and I need all the help I can get. So I like the feel of tight boots. You didn't used to recycle your togs, did you? Actually, good point. No, I always wear fresh togs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I didn't get blisters from my togs. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable no. going into those areas. <laughs> um, so everything's good, though, in camp, mate? Everything's ready to rock? Yeah, everything's good, mate. No, uh... No camp drone sickness, so the boys are fine, and yeah, um, yeah it, it'll be good. So, captain's run to uh, this afternoon, and then tomorrow night's the, the big band. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of excitement. <sighs> Doesn't around get here. any bigger. Mm. Crazy. Yeah. We sound relaxed. That yeah. sounds good. You sound really good. The W does it to you, I think. So, mm. um, <laughs> I'll head up to that spa later, Lotsy. Yeah, let's do that. Don't don't let Mucky do that thing where he pushes into your shoulder and like yes, mani- manipulates you. Like he tries to do it to me all the time. Like get away from him. I'm not a footballer. <laughs> yeah, Mucky, gotta love him. Can't wait to see him. <laughs> all right, well, good luck tomorrow night, mate. Good luck, brother. Thanks, guys. The Ash Lutzi and Susie snack box. Remember, I told you there's been someone, uh, well, someone. There's been a dog pooing on my front lawn. Yeah, what's going on with that? Oh, well, yeah. I'll tell you what's going on. We're away for a month. Came back. Mowed the lawn, Uh-oh. so it looks beautiful. Mm. Literally a couple of hours later, I go out there to have a look at it. There's a dog poo back on her, on there again. And yesterday, I think don't I have found, a fence. Yeah, but like, they it's, on the, it's on the it's on the curb side. It's on the curb oh, side. It's on the between, so theoretically, it's not our lawn, it's, is it? It's on the, well, yeah, yeah, but it's you got to mow it. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, we still mow it, yeah, and stuff, yeah. but it's on the bit yeah. between the fence and the mm. the street. Um, yesterday, I think I found the lady that did it. That the lady that did it. Well, this is. This story's oh, taken an unexpected no, turn. It's way more interesting. You never see it coming, do you? No. Well, uh, Cliff picked me up yesterday, finished work at lunchtime and came picked me up. Came and picked me up to go for a swim. And he rang me and said, I'm at the front driveway, come out, but uh, there's a lady here who's got a dog on a lead. It's a little... Um, Shih tzu or something? No, it was, you know, a little dog. I hope so. A mid-sized dog. <laughs> Shih tzu. And she's on our lawn with a leash, but she's trying to drag it off the lawn. I think it's the it's the pua. Oh, my God. And I was like, oh, have a look. Anyway, I ran out there, and by that stage, she dragged the dog off the lawn, but she was down the street, and she was in her pyjamas. She was wearing oh, pyjamas. The woman, that's the woman inappropriate. The woman was in pyjamas, and it was uh, one thirty in the afternoon. You know what that is? What? Well, that's not like she's just taken the dog on a random walk. She's gone, okay, the dog needs to take it. Yes. So she's just like walked the dog specifically to a spot (laughs) to do it and then dashed back in in her pyjamas. Yeah, and I reckon when Cliff drove home... Apart from her being lazy at (laughs) 1.30. Yeah, or maybe she was a shift worker. Maybe she was a nurse overnight. Yeah, right, if you're a nurse, I (laughs) apologise. No, but so Cliff parked in the driveway, so I reckon she's seen him park there. I reckon you're right. Oh, someone's here, I better drag the dog away. It reeks of a a quick duck outside, let the dog do its Mm. business Mm -hmm. and then get back in as quickly as possible. Yep, and then she dragged it down the street and by the time I came out... She was right down the bottom of the street and her dog was on another bit of grass and then the dog started crouching like it's doing a poo. Yeah, because it was busting by then. And I said to Cliff, do <laughs> dogs... What are you talking about? We normally go to three houses. <laughs> yeah. They can do they come. Yeah. I said to Cliff, do dogs, um, do they wee like crouching as well or is it only doing a poo if it crouches? Depends. Mm. Oh, but so, yeah, Depends. That's what Cliff said. I'm like, well, it could be weeing or it could be pooing. I don't know. But it looks like it's pooing. I said to Cliff, that's the lady. We need to go down and check. He's And then he's making me out like I'm overreacting. No, see, I thought you were going <laughs> to say... But you've it's, been a, a, it's a different pose between, mm-hmm. between a dog. You can tell if a dog's taking a leak oh, or, yeah. or something yeah. far more yeah. sinister is going on. It is a different pose. It's like the, they crouch their back two legs and... Yeah, kind of, yeah. Well, that's almost when they, certainly doing it. When, when they're not lifting their leg but they're taking a leak, they look like Lutzi when he's trying to warm his... <laughs> um, you know, whatever that stretch is you do in between the news breaks sometimes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I don't know that one. Yeah, he the gets, turtle. He gets, well, he no, gets I call it the turtle. Yeah, and he kind of arches back. <laughs> the I day mean, after pickleball. Yeah, yeah. 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 After pickleball. It's well, post pickleball day. Post pickleball. Okay, yeah. well, I've missed that pose. But this one definitely looked like it was pooing. Yeah. But so I'd like, say that's definitely your culprit. That's the lady. And mm. I said to Cliff, that's her. That's her. We Let's need go to go get her. And he's like, you are so overreacting. It doesn't matter. I'm like, it does matter. By the way, was it Peter Alexander? 
her I couldn't tell. It was too far away. And no, I just stood, I stood there with the door open because Cliff was on the phone. In her street, it's definitely Peter Ellie. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. So, oh I, I, I was going to say before, in her street, there's no shift workers. <laughs> A, there's no shift yeah, workers. Yeah. And B, everyone wears Ellie, yeah. Peter Alexander yeah. all the time. Yeah. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie, Snackbox.